At 7.19 a.m. Eastern Time, Senator Kennedy was elected President of the United States. President Lyndon Johnson and Senator Barry Goldwater speak about the same set of numbers. Numbers which represent a command from the American people. A green light for Mr. Johnson, a stop light for Senator Goldwater. But now we find that Richard Milhouse Nixon, 55 years old of New York, is going to be the 37th President of the United States. That Spiro Theodore Agnew of Maryland, 49 years old, is the Vice President-elect. According to our CBS News estimate, President Nixon has been re-elected. By our projection, James Earl Carter, the next President of the United States. The, there she is. <laughs> you can't keep Miss Lillian down for too long, though. And NBC News now makes its projection for the presidency. Reagan is our projected winner. Ronald Wilson Reagan of California, a sports announcer, a film actor, a governor of California, is our projected winner at 8.15 Eastern Standard Time. On the basis of the results in those states and on interviews with voters as they left the polling places, CBS News now estimates that Ronald Reagan has been re-elected president of our United States. George Bush, who's been living in government housing for the past eight years, will continue to live in government housing. He'll move from Massachusetts Avenue to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. NBC News now projects that George Bush is president-elect of the United States. A couple of minutes before the polls close in California, we project that Governor Clinton has gone over the 270 votes he has needed. William Jefferson Clinton has a job for four more years. He becomes the first Democrat since Franklin Roosevelt to win re-election to the White House. Prosperity like this, it's possible Stop. for the country to Stop. have Doris, such a division Doris, as Doris, they do. Doris, Doris, Doris. Uh-oh, something's happened. George Bush is the president-elect oh. of the United States. He has won the state of Florida, according to our projections. 25 electoral it. votes. Uh, Associated Press reporting that Senator Kerry has made the congratulatory phone call to President Bush, congratulating him on his re-election. This is a moment that a lot of people have been waiting for. This is a moment that potentially could be rather historic. And CNN can now project that Barack Obama, 47 years old, will become the president-elect of the United States. We are projecting the battleground state of Ohio for President Barack Obama, which means you are looking at the President of the United States. Barack Obama has been re-elected, the 44th President. Listen to the crowd out in Times Square. Right now, a historic moment. Uh, we can now project the winner of the presidential race, CNN projects. Donald Trump wins the presidency. The business tycoon and TV personality capping his improbable political journey with an astounding upset victory. Donald J. Trump will become the 45th president of the United States, defeating Hillary Clinton in a campaign unlike anything we've seen in our lifetime. Donald Trump.